I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about astaxanthin as a nootropic, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Astaxanthin is a natural pink xanthophyll found primarily in Haematococcus pluvialis algae and the salmon, shellfish, and krill and birds that feed on them. For example, blink flamingos. Shrimp and lobster turn red when cooked because astaxanthin in crustaceans is surrounded by a protein that turns pink when released by heat. The single largest source of natural astaxanthin is in the algae Haematococcus pluvialis. Astaxanthin boosts the health of skin, joints, heart, and brain. And its use as a nootropic supplement is supported by 1,097 peer-reviewed papers in the last five years. It is one of the few antioxidants that can cross the blood-brain barrier and the blood-retinal barrier in your eyes, benefiting both your brain and your vision. A comparative study shows astaxanthin 6,000 times more potent than vitamin C. 550 times more powerful than vitamin E, and five times better than beta-carotene in trapping energy from the singlet oxygen, which is one of the most common reactive oxygen species in your body and brain. Astaxanthin can also neutralize reactive oxygen species without generating prooxidants, a common side effect of other antioxidants. Astaxanthin prevents the accumulation of phospholipid hydroperoxide, which it accumulates abnormally in dementia patients. And in one study, dementia patients were given astaxanthin for 12 weeks. The study showed patients supplementing with astaxanthin had lower concentrations of this phospholipid peroxide and erythrocytes, demonstrating its potential in preventing and possibly treating dementia. Astaxanthin as a nootropic had also been shown to boost cognitive function and memory. 96 healthy and aged individuals with some level of age-related forgetfulness received either astaxanthin 6 or 12 milligrams per day or a placebo for 12 weeks. The researchers concluded that astaxanthin improved memory and it boosted cognition, attention, and information processing in the aged study participants. Astaxanthin boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, astaxanthin protects the brain from neurodegenerative disease. Studies show that astaxanthin scavenges free radicals and reactive oxygen species associated with diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Age-related cognitive decline often includes reduced blood flow in the brain, resulting in memory loss and impaired cognition. Astaxanthin easily crosses the blood-brain barrier, scavenging free radicals, enhancing brain blood flow and providing more oxygen and nutrients for neuroprotection against inflammatory diseases that can lead to a stroke. Astaxanthin's antioxidant power is greater than other members of the carotenoid family, helping prevent metal ion-induced oxidative stress by chelating heavy metals and acting as an anti-inflammatory. And second, astaxanthin helps reduce mental fatigue. Studies show that supplementing with astaxanthin can help prevent mental fatigue, including in healthy people. Mental fatigue is often caused by oxidative stress. Measuring phosphatidylcholine hydroperoxide is the blood plasma marker used when testing for a cause of fatigue. Supplementing with astaxanthin helps recovery from mental fatigue because it decreases this peroxide, which is often elevated during mental and physical tasks. When you supplement with astaxanthin, it primarily accumulates in your mitochondria. Mitochondrial membranes are essentially prone to oxidative stress, which can then hamper energy production. Astaxanthin neutralizes free radicals in mitochondrial membranes, resulting in an increase in cellular energy production. Astaxanthin has a unique molecular structure which makes, it more, which makes it more potent than any other antioxidant. 
astaxanthin has a unique ability to help protect both the cell exterior as well as the interior from oxidative stress. While you can't prevent aging, you can slow down aging, the aging process by reducing oxidative stress, protecting your brain cells and mitochondria. Energy production in the mitochondria generates enormous amounts of free radicals that can cause oxidative stress. Astaxanthin helps to support and strengthen your body's own antioxidant defense system against this stress. Studies have shown that astaxanthin counteracts mental fatigue and improves clarity of thinking, concentration, motivation, and mood. Natural astaxanthin easily crosses the blood-brain barrier and helps prevent diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, which are associated with mitochondrial dysfunction. Several clinical studies have shown that natural astaxanthin as a nootropic helps improve memory and multitasking in those experiencing age-related forgetfulness. If you have chronic fatigue or memory issues, you may want to try supplementing with astaxanthin. Neurohackers su who su supplement with astaxanthin report a dramatic difference in how they feel, with more energy and less brain fog. People with joint and muscle pain say that they get relief from their pain. It may take six to eight weeks of supplementing with astaxanthin before you begin to experience its benefits, but some say it worked for them in a few days. Many find that their skin becomes clearer just a week into taking astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is especially beneficial for vision, and you may find your eyesight getting better. And many using astaxanthin say that they find that they can stay in the sun significantly longer without getting burned. Astaxanthin is a powerful antioxidant, resulting in fewer fine lines and wrinkles with continued usage. If you are experiencing brain fog, slow thinking, or poor vision or skin health, you may start feeling better once you have added astaxanthin to your stack. Now I've got more research on astaxanthin over on my original review for astaxanthin at Nootropics Expert. You can get to that original transcript by clicking on the link below this video. I've got a study on how astaxanthin is used for neurodegenerative disease. Got another study on astaxanthin for memory and cognition. I got another one for astaxanthin for mental fatigue. So if you want to see those studies, see the original transcript over on Nootropics Expert. The recommended nootropic dosage for astaxanthin is 4 to 16 milligrams per day. To achieve the equivalent of this dosage through diet alone, you would need to consume 600 to 2,000 grams of seafood every day. Studies conducted in Japan showed that supplementing with 4 milligrams of astaxanthin per day leads to protection of the skin against UV rays, and supplementing with 6 milligrams leads to better skin texture, elasticity, and improved eye health. And if you're an athlete, you can use up to 16 milligrams of astaxanthin per day, but I highly recommend consulting with your doctor before using such a high dose. This is one thing that you don't want to overdose on. Remember, astaxanthin is fat-soluble and needs to be taken with a meal containing healthy fats or a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil or MCT oil for absorption. If you're dealing with a bleeding disorder or you're, you're using blood-thinning medication, you should not use astaxanthin. If you're diabetic or hypoglycemic, you must use astaxanthin with caution. Monitor your blood glucose levels closely and adjust your medications accordingly. Astaxanthin may also lower your blood pressure. So if you're using natural or prescription medication that lowers blood pressure, be careful when using astaxanthin. And if you're using 5-alpha reductase inhibitors for enlarged prostate or hair loss, I do not recommend using astaxanthin because astaxanthin may inhibit the conversion of testosterone to DHT, possibly resulting in low libido, enlarged breasts, decreased semen quality, decreased semen quantity during ejaculation, uh, impotence, increased skin pigmentation, hair growth, weight gain, and depression. And if you are hypersensitive to 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, you should completely avoid astaxanthin. You should not use astaxanthin if you have an autoimmune disorder or are on immunosuppressants 
or you have hypocalcemia, osteoporosis, or thyroid disorders. Or you have a known allergy or hypersensitivity to astaxanthin or its related carotenoids. And if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you should avoid using astaxanthin. Some may experience milder side effects like abdominal pain and cramping. As in a tropic, astaxanthin dosages are low. More is not better and will more than likely cause serious health issues. Astaxanthin is available as soft gel capsules or as a powder. Because astaxanthin is gaining in popularity as a nootropic supplement, 95% of it is generated synthetically using petrochemicals due to the cost efficiency for mass production. But safety issues have been identified when using synthetic astaxanthin as a nootropic supplement. So make sure that you choose an astaxanthin supplement that is naturally sourced. You can also get natural astaxanthin in my favorite vision supplement, Performance Lab Vision, which also contains uh, European freeze-dried black bear currant, European bilberry extract, Floraglow lutein, and Floraglow zeanthin, and astaxanthin, and saffron. As a standalone supplement, two patented versions of astaxanthin are on the market and both are naturally sourced from Hematococcus pluvialis algae, and they are Bioastin, which is made in Hawaii for, by Nutrex, from organic Hematococcus pluvialis algae, and licensed to other dietary supplement manufacturers. And the other one is called Xanthin, which is made by Valenza from Hematococcus pluvialis grown at their sister company in Chile, and then using a CO2 extraction system in, in Florida. The company licenses Xanthin to other dietary supplement companies. So whatever form of astaxanthin you choose, be for sure to take this fat-soluble supplement with a meal containing healthy fats or a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil or MCT oil because it is digested by activating, activating digestive enzymes, which helps break down fats in your gut. So my Nootropics Expert recommendation for astaxanthin is 4 to a maximum of 16 milligrams per day. And that's my report on astaxanthin. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for astaxanthin, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles in all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using astaxanthin, please use the comments section below this video, or at the bottom of my astaxanthin review on Nootropics Expert. I try my best to respond to comments and questions as quickly as I can. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and it contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And consider getting a copy of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First is nearly 600 pages, and it's the best guide on the planet for fixing and optimizing your brain. And if you think you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you go. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.